guys are ridiculous. These guys are ridiculous. Now, how about them damn Celtics? And we are back with another How About Them Celtics video. Sam and I are recording on Tuesday, July 30th. We are in the midst of the offseason. Nothing to talk about. So we're going to be reacting to Celtics Reddit because that's that, it's just going to be a staple at this point. Maybe it's a once a week thing. How are you doing today, Sam? Doing all right. I have a college football program to build. Are you building BC? I just won the natty with BC. <laughs> you won the natty? I won the natty. So I'll do it quick before we start. I, um, I'm down seven. With like a m couple minutes left, like two clock on always, just because I didn't want it to like didn't want to score and then lose in regulation. Mm -hmm. I have to punt. I punt with like fifty seconds left. No, I threw a pick rather. I'm sorry, I threw a pick. Three and out for Michigan. Get the ball back. I drive, score a touchdown, get the two point conversion. On the two point conversion, I thought I got stuffed at the goal line, but I got in, so I won. <sighs> Against two, who'd you play in the natty? Michigan. <clears throat> what are you playing on all American? Yeah, I got I got to turn up to Heisman. <laughs> now my team's nasty. I've just murdered Heisman's him. tough. Sorry if you came um, here from the Celtics. No, I mean now I'm going to talk about mine. I'm I'm UMass. I just finished four years of Marco Butts at quarterback. Electric, sick. <clears throat> Still haven't won much. We went ten and three last year and won a bowl game though, so I felt good about that. Right. We beat we beat Louisville in a bowl game. We like murdered Louisville in a bowl game. So I was like, all right, this is this is Did feeling you good. Sim it? Uh, no, I. I I like half simmed, half play. I played the like key moments. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, are you simming or are you playing? I played. <clears throat> do you play the whole thing or do you do key moments? And stuff? I've been playing the whole thing. Okay. I yeah. got you. But um, I had like this nasty wide receiver. He's like 6'1", 6 6'2", 6 96 speed. I redshirted him. Sophomore year, like was an 88 overall. Left for the draft. Oh. I It, it said like convince him to stay a very high chance did it nope said Go, let me gone. go get my contract <clears throat> cooked me man anyways celtics are at right time sorry <laughs> we gotta rebuild a team together on stream i think that'd be very fun okay you can, can stream from your xbox i we don't know how to do simulcast so what we could do is share the twitch stream in a stream yard tab maybe yeah, it could just be a little delayed with the inputs and our reactions. We'll figure it out. We'll find a way to do it. I'll okay. research. Anyways, three minutes into the video, we're finally actually going to show you the Celtics Reddit. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> let's take a look at what people have Thomas been saying. The dumb. Uh, Lead, hey, leading the charge today. You guys know what you're getting at this point in the, in the year. Um, so let's skip the game threads. Let's skip this stuff. Charles Barkley hits out at Steve Kerr for Tatum. Okay, I don't know if that's the right terminology. Um, do you know what he said here? Do I have to click the, I have uh, no idea what he said. Maybe somebody in the replies pasted it. So people didn't have to click, but <laughs> let's see. Sure. He's got to play. Everybody in the team has to play is what he said. Um, people in the comments, we can read, which is the important part. Uh, it's a different kind of cringe when you run across a news website that obviously runs out of things to say in a paragraph or two. Oh, I didn't even read. <laughs> didn't even oh read. no. <clears throat> disaster assault uh steve kerr is a bad coach just ask warriors fans about his rotations mm. uh, it's insane he benched Tatum. you're telling me the booker has to play 26 minutes drew played 24 what played 16 you can't take any of those minutes and give him to tatum you can just take five from each and tatum gets an easy 15 no way booker should get uh more minutes I kerr's agree. an idiot isn't an idiot he's a coward he knew tatum booker and especially ant that tatum uh was least likely to cause a stir i didn't think about it that way but i believe that we all know That's tatum's true. ultimate team player etc etc um, Kerr has championships not because of his dodo print, because of MJ Duncan, Steph, and KD. He's an idiot. Interesting. Okay. Thoughts? Uh, video title Is Jason Tatum's benching actually a compliment about his attitude? Because <laughs> that's actually not a bad point by the Reddit commenter. I don't hate I it. I don't yeah. think either of us thought of it that way. No, I definitely did not. Uh, <clears throat> what else going on? Where's Paul Pierce? What are your thoughts on this top 25 list in the 21st century? Mm, I did see this list on, on Instagram. So it's cut off by the banner. So let me take the banner off the screen in StreamYard so you can see the whole list. I didn't um, see or can KG. I just, can I just, I'll do can it. I just like, no, no. Can I just like, no, it's okay. Um, LeBron, Kobe, Steph. I'm not going to read it all. This is a YouTube video. I don't have to accommodate audio people. Sorry, audio people. Um, <clears throat> it's probably thoughts. better than... Pow. I think Luke I think is Luke, probably better than Pow. Luca being on this list instead of Tatum's stupid. Objectively. Yeah, I didn't Tatum, think of that. 
he should be on this list over over Luca. Um, also, ESPN like playoffs. fired Paul Pierce, so I am not surprised. Like this probably had something to do with it. Yeah, Paul Pierce should definitely be on this list, though. I mean, he won a title, which I think automatically puts him above a lot of these people. Um, Russ, I get it, but Russ won an MVP. Like that's like that's Russ where MVP. my biggest issue with this list is Dwayne James Wade Martin. over Dwayne Wade over Dirk Durant and Giannis. People love Wade, dude. That's I, crazy. I don't get it. Prize Picks is America's number one daily fantasy sports app with over five million active members. Prize Picks is the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Unlike other apps on Prize Picks, it's just you against the numbers. All you do is pick more or less on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. Get in on the daily action with your friends and become a part of the Prize Picks community today. With Prize Picks, you could turn $10 into $1,000 while watching Team USA rack up the gold medals this summer. You can make a Prize Picks lineup of players across basketball, soccer, tennis, golf, and more in as little as 60 seconds. Just pick more or less on two to six player stat projections and you're locked in. Prize Picks is available in more than 30 states across the country, including California, Texas, and Georgia. Sam and I use Prize Picks all throughout the NBA playoffs as the Celtics were making their run. If you guys tuned into the pregame show, you saw it. We like Drew Holiday blocks. We always pick Jason Tatum to get a dunk. That was a lock for us. And we always picked less on the opposing star's points. Download the Prize Picks app today and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. That's code CLNS on Prize Picks for a deposit match up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Uh, what else? <clears throat> I think the rest is pretty fair. Um, Kawhi should probably be a little higher, but he's hurt, so I don't I don't care that much. Uh, Ray Allen on the list over Paul Pierce is insane. Mm. That's wild to me. Um, yeah, Paul he Pierce should be on this list. Though. I don't care. <laughs> I, I don't care. Paul, who'd you rank better all time? I would rank Pierce better. Exactly. Also, I know you don't like him. Melo's probably better than some of the guys on this list, too. He's not better than Pierce. No, but I think they both should be on the list. I don't know. I didn't even think about Melo. Um, it feels like Tim Duncan's gets a little low. <clears throat> yeah. But I'm not going to complain about him not being over the rest. I think he should be over Steph, but I I would have Kobe and LeBron over him. Steve Nash is a little high up on this list, actually. Steve Nash is too high up. I think Harden's should be above him. I think um, Steve Nash is two MVPs. Steve Nash is two MVPs that all anybody does is bitch about him. <clears throat> they're MVPs. they're fake MVPs. Um, Draymond probably a little low on this list, low key. Let us I'll put it. You know what? List. My context. Ray Allen being on here and Clay Thompson not being on here is nonsensical. That's true. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Anyways, let us know what you think of the list. Uh, let's see. Most random Celtic linkups. Tatum meeting Flava Flav. Flava Flav says it at the bottom. Here, Isn't Flava Flav like a noted Celtic fan? I'm not sure, but he does sponsor the women's water polo team. All right. He said, I'm a girl dad. I got to support where I can, when I can, which is like, fuck yeah, Flavor Flav, that rocks. Water polo is something I think we should all play more. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I think... It seems like fun. We should make a handball team. Mm. U.S. doesn't have a handball team. Why not us? They don't have one in the Olympics? <clears throat> nope. I guess all the uh, like the athlete athletes play like other sports. <clears throat> what are you saying? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Pierce with McLovin. That's not random. They play in the same city. So hilarious, though. <clears throat> it is funny to look at. What a Sam moment. Cassell with. Oh, is this the team with Manny Pacquiao? Oh, Manny Pacquiao, yeah. Yeah. He's a huge Celtics fan. Who is that? Is that Rick Ross? Is it Gucci no. Mane? Gucci Mane, maybe? I'm sorry. We're the wrong people. Uh, Jesus Christ. I don't That's know who that is. Real. Oh, no, that is real. I remember this on Twitter. I don't know who that is. I don't know who it is, but I remember the <laughs> Go John, Cena. John Cena. What the hell was this thread? People are bored. Thoughts on Rick Fox. All right. The Reddit's this cooked. This is an RJ question. No, <laughs> the scroll down. Cooked. There's more Tatum stuff. There's more. I, no, oh, no, no. I'm not. Tatum. I'm not scrolling off. I'm just saying oh. if this is where we're at in the offseason. You got to pray um, for us. 
Olympics minutes be damned. Nobody can take this from us. Respect Tatum mm. on the float. Love it. <clears throat> are you nostalgic? This one's outrageous. I saw what? my phone. The are you nostalgic for the Isaiah Thomas error? The fucking team just won a title. No, I I agree with this. I think it so. was fun in the sense I think that there weren't really expectations. And- I had more fun during the IZ- IT era than this year. I, this year was I, more enjoyable, but it was more fun rooting for the other team. It's I just agree it goes up back until to the whole the title. Sure, sure, sure. But that made it all worth it. But like, yeah, not you're saying ninety nine percent of the season was in, was less fun than the IT year, correct? I suppose that's fair. It's just but my I, whole I thing is trade it. No, 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 I wouldn't either. But my whole thing is like it goes back to the it's not as fun to root for the no one's rooting for the Goliath. <laughs> like, this is a fact. It, <clears throat> unfortunately but yeah our starting fives arguable best individual performances in the playoffs which one was your favorite Ooh, i like this let's see drew game two <clears throat> drew game two versus dallas 26 points 11 rebounds what Derek white game, game was Derek white game three miami 38 four and three eight threes made jalen brown game two versus indy 40 points five rebounds two assists tatum game three versus indy 36 10 and eight with no turnovers porzingis game one versus dallas 26 and three blocks uh, Reddit post uh, or the Reddit user says I'm going to say it every time I make a post about this group but what is the damn starting lineup obviously there's arguments etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, <clears throat> which was yours favorite okay what's your favorite Sam I have an unconventional answer I like the poor Zingus one because he just came in and it was like a fake moment like he just didn't miss yeah. any shots I, yeah. he was it was like literally I mean, all they talked about in the finals was his WWE entrances, but it was like guy comes back in the Royal Rumble, hits his finisher on every guy and makes his presence known. Like, that's what it was like. Crowd was going berserk. He had like the crazy sequence where he blocked Kyrie and they came down and Hauser made a three and then he blocked Josh Green on a transition dunk. Like, it was just like complete pandemonium for that whole first quarter. Hmm. I was going to say Derek. I think yeah, it's, it's I think I, ever well, but seriously, like I think everyone forgets about it because it was like first round, so whatever. Yes, that was one of the most insane things I've ever watched. <laughs> like, like we're talking about the second, what the second highest points in a playoff game by Celtic in the playoffs. It mm. happened. It just just because it happened round one, like people are not going to remember it as much on the road. I remember too. it as much on the road. I, like I remember watching that and should be like, like I, him shooting the ball. I'm like that's going into holy fuck. Like holy just shit, laughing. that was going into. Just sitting that, there it, laughing. It was, that was exactly it. It was the ultimate. I'm just like cackling it every time he, he shoots the ball. Um, I mean, all of these, though, were kind of like that. But that one stuck out to me is like it's forgotten a little bit. But like eight threes, man, he he's just, he was just unconscious and it was so fun. Um, so I'll go that if for nothing else to be uh, a little bit appreciative of something that doesn't get as much. Runner up. If he game Drew game, Drew game was great, too. I mean, Jalen Brown's buzzer beater as well. KP game one was so electric. KP, KP, yeah, it's all KP. Derek White is game four, not game three. Oh, thank you. Uh, it's all KP, though. Everyone's saying KP. What else we got? Six weeks on top of the world. <clears throat> Psycho Joe in Olympics. Obviously, he's a UFC guy, but what random ass Olympics award do you think Joe's watching and, quote, stealing plays from? Handball, badminton, <laughs> equestrian dressage. The options are limitless. Someone says this is some shit curling. that Oliver would write. It is. He should write this. Tell him to. Yeah. Someone said curling, which I don't think is in the Summer Olympics. Um, water polo. <clears throat> water polo can make sense. Break dancing. <laughs> uh, more of an original Olympic fans. Kind of have the fellows running pick and rolls in the nude. <laughs> <laughs> Martial arts. Is break dancing actually in the Olympics? Is yeah, it is. What the hell? <clears throat> Interesting. Game time is an authorized ticket marketplace of Major League Baseball, which makes getting tickets faster and easier. Prices on the Game Time app actually go down the closer it gets to first pitch. I remember my dad taking me to Fenway Park as a kid, getting to watch David Ortiz and Dustin Pedroia sitting in the Green Monster and taking in all there is to love about the iconic ballpark. With killer last minute deals, all in prices, views from your seat, and their lowest price guarantee, Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying MLB tickets. Taking a look at my Game Time app right now, I see plenty of great deals to watch my favorite sports teams and my favorite tickets to Noah Khan. You guys know that's my favorite artist. I even used it while in Las Vegas for Summer League to get tickets to a women's basketball game. 
Some of my favorite features in the game time app include letting me see what the price is going to be with fees included. It makes so much easier to take a look and see what the actual price I'm going to pay is. Also, you get to see exactly where you are sitting. It's a great way to know exactly the experience you're going to get. I also love the fact that you can get great last minute deals, save up to 60% off buying last minute for sports, concerts, comedy, theater, or anything else. Take the guesswork out of buying MLB tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code CLNS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code CLNS for $20 off. That yeah. Oh God. Is this, this why you said we should react to Reddit? <clears throat> Did you see this before you suggested Reddit? I, I just saw it because I'm scrolling mm. on my own monitor just to make sure we don't miss anything that's like funny. <clears throat> Jaden Springer, anybody else here unreasonably ex unreasonably excited for Springer next season? Do you guys think he'll play good minutes? I don't no. think he'll play good minutes, but I am unreasonably <laughs> excited for him nonetheless. I'm more excited for Tillman. I think I he might Tillman. get opportunities though. If they if they load minutes, Drew, he might get a little like back end minutes. <clears throat> Perhaps he'll have. I think he'll have more opportunity this year than last. <clears throat> I agree for sure. Tatum face scar. Anyone know what happened to his face? I noticed it on a few broadcasts. We can't find anything about it. It seems to be under his left eye. eye. And it's been there since it's trickier. I don't know. Maybe someone here. Uh, Self-inflected so he can wear the Nelly headband. Um, <clears throat> here is a very clear face shot of him as senior year of high school. It looks like it's old scar already. So probably something from when he was a young kid. Interesting. Nobody I knows. Know. I have a scar under my eye. I'm like Tatum for real. I don't really? know which one it is. I'm trying to see if I can. I don't know if you can see it. One sec. I got to figure out which eye it is. It's very small, <clears throat> but I know it's there for sure. I think I yeah, it's right. Forearm somewhere. I think it's. I know I had it. I only. I was the only reason I wanted to sh talk about it is because it's a funny story, but I. I don't see it at the moment. I think it's right under here. Um, Henry threw a book at my face when we were children. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like I missed out quite a bit not having siblings. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, I. My sister and I each hit Henry in the head with a metal baseball bat. So, uh, yeah, you guys times. got you got your licks. Then. <clears throat> I had Henry like the Rocky Eye. Uh, he, he was like that. I also have a scar on my tongue from when I bit through it. Oh we're talking about injuries. Yeah, we, we were regulars at the hospitals. Electric. Don't worry about it. Hospital loves you guys. <clears throat> they did. They get their money's worth. Henry goes there every month for his uh, narcolepsy. A little sleepy time. Uh, villain arc. Tatum hanging out over there. Yeah, just Tatum stuff. The still image is going everywhere, going platinum. Uh, anything else? Have you missed anything else? I think we're good. Said this. Steve Kerr choosing to bring Derek White on the Olympic team instead of Jalen Brown. They're making sure to only play Derek White and not Jason Tatum as to so unrest in the Celtics, some Phil Jackson level of mind games. I, t I was watching the Serbia game with Danny uh, at the time, and I saw this tweet, and I said, this is how we know we've gone too far in the discourse. We got to stop. <laughs> so you know it's July. <laughs> For real. Anyways, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Let us know what you thought of the Reddit. Let us know what you thought about the Tatum thing and all the other stuff. And there's something else I wanted thoughts on, but I can't remember what it was at the moment. So, uh, oh yeah, your favorite game from the playoffs. Tell us which one was your favorite uh, and the list, the top 25. Uh, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Leave a like, subscribe, and all that. Same, take it out. Yeah, thank you very much for listening and watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell. Leave a like. You don't want to miss any of the stuff we're coming at you daily. 5 a.m. New videos on the channel to keep you all caught up with the Celtics this summer. Even though there isn't too much to catch up on, we're still here for you. You can, again, leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can find us on Spotify and Apple too. All of our full podcasts, which drop Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday will be there, as well as any game recap we do. I think we're doing some for the Olympics. So you'll have some content in your feed on there. Leave a five-star review. Email us, hbtcpod at gmail.com is the address for that. Team USA plays today as you listen to this, so let us know your thoughts on that after you watch the game. You can find us on socials at How About Them Seas, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook's the name of the pod. Streams are there. They're on YouTube. They're on Twitter. Jack's Twitter's at Jack's Money NBA. Mine's at Sam LaFrance NBA. It's it for us. Bye. Chick Chaco. Come on. Chaco. Chaco. Chaco.